So I, I, I cut lacquers for about uh, two years, maybe, maybe almost three years, cut lacquers there. And then I got a chance to work in the studio. And how that chance happened, I mean, really big, was strange. It was through a Lou Reed record. I, uh, uh, let's say I cut masters, and they sent in a, a tape, uh, and they sent in this Lou Reed tape to be mastered, and I put it on, and it sounded dull. It sounded no life to it, no top end. Uh, and so I, I thought maybe the tape was a bad tape copy, because they would usually send a, a, a copy of the master. And I phoned the record company, and I, I told them what, what I had uh, discovered. And they said, okay, well, we'll send you, we'll send another tape. So a few days later, another tape arrives. I put it on. It sounds exactly the same. And so I phoned the record company. I, I said, this tape sounds exactly the same as the last one. What's going on? And I guess they were in a hurry to get it out. I said, well, listen, just do what you can, you know, and let's get it uh, cut and so we can get it to the pressing plant. So I did uh, some extensive EQing on it, you know, uh, and got it to a point where I thought it sounded pretty good. I cut it. The record company uh, finally got the test pressing. They, they said, hey, great, we love it. And then I get a call from Lou Reed. And he says, I don't know what you did, but you made that record sound so much better than the American version. And I'm talking to the RCA in the States, and I want them to re-release your version. Well, you know, you can't get a better compliment than that, you know? So uh, we became friends. He came up to Toronto. We did some recording together. I went down to New York, stayed at his place, did some recordings. And uh, so we hung out for a good six years, you know, before we kind of drifted apart and had a chance. But that's, that gave me the kick into the recording uh, business. I mean, before that, I had been doing some sessions, you know, jingles and stuff, nothing of note, nobody famous, really. Uh, but that gave me that hook of credibility. You know, the minute Lou said, you're my man, I was there. So uh, uh, I just thought that'd be an interesting story to, to pass on. But uh, yeah, that's where I'm coming from. <laughs>